So hello everybody, uh, today we are going to talk in English about uh, medicines and uh, our today's topic is actually uh, going to be about counseling patients and today we have uh, Regis Weilancourt from Canada who is, uh, who is going to uh, show us basically how we should uh, perform a, a, a conversation with the patient. Okay. So, so uh, what is... You want to start with the amoxicillin? Yeah, let's, let's start with the amoxicillin. So, so, uh, Okay, for me, for me, I would, uh, I would as a pharmacist, I would basically explain to the patient, uh, first of all, direction for use. So uh, normally it's three times a day. So this is this is the most essential. So we say three times a day. You have to be more specific to the patient. Okay. Do you, is it every eight hours, every six hours? Can you can so you have to be putting yourself into the patient's shoes. Uh, amoxicillin has at least six hours between doses, really, but doesn't have to be eight hours exactly. So, so uh, I would say. Eight hours would be would be the best, but then obviously the night problem, yeah, because it's exactly. very difficult to adjust it. But it needs to be at least six hours apart. I would say four to six hours apart. Okay, four to six so, hours. So what do you want to do when you do patient counseling? It's a great to yeah, when you do patient counseling, you want to talk about three times a day, about every eight hours. How are you going to take it in your life? So I would say uh, the most convenient time would be uh, every four to six hours. So uh, give him a like an idea maybe uh, when you start in the morning then uh, maybe evening or so what we do that uh, let's just say it's a child that goes to daycare or yes. goes to school so give it before he goes to school okay give it when he comes back from school and give it at, at, le at last time before he goes to bed okay that makes so sense so you don't have to wake him up as long as, long as there's four to six hours between doses and if it's a child as well first of all you need to know what the infection is for because you want to be able to guide the patient how quickly is it going to work for you if it's for a sore throat, you would say in two or three days, your sore throat will be pretty much gone. Three days, if you still have a sore throat, you need to go back and see your doctor. This is not working for you. Yeah. So the outcome of therapy is critical. And you tell how to take the drug, fine, and you go into specific into their life. Because three times a day means nothing. It could be like uh, the three meals of the day. And they're not separated enough. But Our problem in Poland, we don't have uh, patient medical records. So this, is, this is the problem. So obviously, we possibly have to guess uh, what's, what's wrong with the patient. So is it, is it right to ask him actually what the doctor prescribed it for? Absolutely. It's absolutely right, yeah? So if they want to tell you, then, you, then he doesn't tell you. But okay. the patient usually wants to share their story. Okay. So can you, can you share with me what was the reason you get prescribed? Or you can, can you share with me what the doctor told you about this medicine? So you can assess their medications, uh, knowledge. Um, but let's go back to the concept. So you define how to take it. It can be taken with or without food, amoxicillin, yeah. that's not a problem. Uh, you establish what would be the, the expected outcome. And you can talk about the potential side effects. What potential side effects will you be concerned? I would say um, stomach problems, but I know that most of the time it's absolutely fine. So normally they don't react really badly with, with, with the stomach. Uh, so I would say from my career, I don't remember any side effects really. So the main side effects that we provide counseling about would be rash. And if you have a okay. rash, you have to start the medication. So you have an penicillin allergy. In that case, uh, the other side effects is diarrhea. This is very common. And again, if it's a kid, there's some data that shows if you give them a probiotic, it might decrease the risk of having diarrhea. If it's an adult, there's no well-established study that shows that it will prevent diarrhea. But still, tell them you should try yogurt and with lactobacillus live yogurt. It might help. So when we are talking about probiotics, uh, uh, because in Poland, basically uh, every time you get prescribed antibiotic, there is a myth, or maybe it's it's true. Just give anti give probiotics every time you you, you have a uh, antibiotic. So what about the situation in which you have to uh, use it for six months, for instance, for acne or for the prostate? So, probiotics have been shown in, in children to decrease uh, uh, antibiotic induced diarrhea. So yes, for children, adult less proven. There's some data that shows that probiotics might decrease the risk of Clostridium difficile infection, which is basically. You know, because you just feel like, of course, like, like, yeah. like, yeah. like uh, clean the moist, for instance, yeah, very common. Yeah. yeah. So, so there's nothing wrong with taking pro probiotic, and I, th I would go it. I would go for it, no problem. Even in in the long term use, like so for, six, uh, for six, term, six yeah, months, yeah. and then. But then most of these.